uh, hi everyone and welcome back so we have written our cat controller in the last video and this is the third video of this series what we have done is we defined all the annotations for the get and for the post right like api operation http code ok response bad request response internal server response the same will be exposed to the swagger ui if you see our swagger ui somewhere here you can see all these things and you can also see the schema of this payload right it is exposed because we are using dto and the class validator schema and this is the get all right so this is very basics we have done now next thing we are going to talk about is some core or the common modules common components of nessius like okay i have created a cat module maybe i will create dog module uh, elephant module or something like that we'll create a particular folder inside that i will have a cat cat listing cat things then dog things and all these things in a separate separate folder inside domain module and then i will import all these modules to the app module like cats module dogs modules and all this is how it works it will expose all the controllers and we are able to access those apis okay now next thing is uh, let's talk about the common things we are we are always going to have we most of the time we always need a middleware like auth middleware or a logger middleware or something like that auth middleware like you have to validate the request before hitting your actual api then in that case you would need a middleware sometimes you need a decorator custom decorators means you are getting a request request payload you always wanted to modify the request object and add the user object inside it or add the token inside it so all your services or the all your controllers can access that properties from the one place okay once you set it i can access the the roles the user data all these properties there let's say talk about common so here i will talk about simple middleware let's say auth dot middleware dot ts So auth middleware can be uh, as complex as you want. I mean, if we just talk about a simple auth middleware, what auth middleware is doing is it just checks your authorization token and uh, it just check, okay, whatever you are doing is actually fine or not, right? Like the token, it will decode the token and it will say, okay, your token is valid or not. If token is invalid, then it will just say, okay, you are not authorized to access this particular api and this kind of middleware we are doing it in the same way we were doing it in the express so i, I will just use the simple example for now okay and i will try to explain this i will use my own example which i have written earlier so let's see if i import this request response next function we are getting from express authorization http exceptions so let's import all these things okay this is a simple middleware what this middleware can help us is okay you are getting some token and all these things uh, inside your authorization and i i will help you to validate that this particular thing is there or not so we will be using some particular service in our code to validate okay the token is coming is valid or not so that we will do the dependency injection here but currently we don't have so forget about it but like what we are saying is we are checking the authorization header if it is not there then we are just directly calling if it is there then we will be calling some uh, api okay like this is this dot service particular service and dot validate or we'll be passing this authorization token and this authorization token will return true or false and based on that only either it will return some data or true or false based on that we will say next okay currently based on this code whatever we have written it will block all the requests if you don't have authorization token there if it is false then it will throw a missing he authorization header but it will not throw now but you have to plug it in, plug this in with your module like okay i want all the requests to pass through this middleware right 
in that case you have to plug this in with your module definition and how we can do this so this is the middleware you have created now you will simply just go to your uh, module the main module or the feature module in which you have written your apis okay and you will write some code snippet which uh, nasjs is providing let's say i am adding this on my cat module and what is the middleware name just so that we can use it auth middleware and we are inside a cat module so cat module it should implement nest module nest module and here we can actually use the configure method public configure a lot of things are there inside that we will be passing the consumer and it will be the your middleware name okay and here you will validate it consumer dot whoever is consuming we will apply this middleware which is auth middleware now interesting thing here is i mean it's it's not necessary that you will apply this to all the routes you can decide okay i want to exclude from these set of routes and i want to apply only for these routes so exclude means you can say uh, these api v1 health one api v1 let's say cat and uh, something and maybe you have defined this particular route do you, this you want to exclude and rest all if path is api v1 so it will still ex exclude that first one and it will include all these things which we have defined here methods can be wildcard like all methods which are starting all the http methods method equal to request method request method dot all i think what is the problem here so what we are saying is we are excluding this particular route and we are including all the routes that is having this particular pattern it is request method we need to import i hate importing everything i mean importing things one by one it's like we can import all these things together so we don't see these warning errors so this is how we can use the middleware now i have added this into the cat module it can be like you can add this to the global in the app module let's say api v1 health i want to exclude and i want to include all the routes of all the http methods starting with api v1 okay this is an example of our middleware similarly we can uh, we can also create the interceptors and all these other things let's uh, take a look onto this we can also create a simple logger middleware that will just log things based on your request or response it can be a simple http logger right i will just copy and paste this for the example here we have common auth middleware we can also create logger dot middleware dot ts and it will be just doing simple http logging and you can just include it everywhere i mean for all the routes we have in the definition now next thing is if you are not specifying let's say i'm creating cat i'm not specifying the name and breed then i will see some message right i will see okay the name is required message is required how can we customize these messages coming from any kind of exception from the api i can create an interceptor for that an interceptor will be exception interceptor so all the exceptions we are getting it will wrap that exception into a particular message it's like a serialization of the exceptions or the errors you are getting from the apis okay we are writing the apis because from the the joy validations and from the data validations we can get different set of errors coming okay so that we can write similarly we can also write let's say common here i will be writing interceptors pipes filters okay so we have created two middlewords create exception interceptors like uh, if there are exceptions occurring how we can intercept and how we can modify the new message and send the status code 
so let's say create exception intercept exception interceptor dot ts okay and uh, I, I will just use the existing code provided by nice.js documentation so that we can use to just update the exception message which we are getting so there is a exception we are getting that is not handled then you can actually rewrite the message and send the custom code like bad, bad gateway we are sending similarly there is a exception filters this is also called the serialization of the response messages so most of the time we are getting is okay one liner one liner response message but i want more information when that incident happened like the, the date and time when we receive this response message response code and from which particular resource that you can do with the exception filter so we can create that and that will have the same predefined set what we are doing is we are getting the response request status code and if you are globally applying this exception filter onto the app instance then what it will do is it will just check okay whatever the response you are sending i'm going to send the response something like this so whatever the data whatever the this is only applicable for the exceptions not with the data formats status code timestamp and on which particular request url this particular exception has occurred and how do we apply all these things in our code i mean either we can apply these exception filters and all on a global level or at the controller level and you can see catch http exception so it is catching only http exceptions which are like there are many http exceptions we have in the application like uh, bad request not found internal server error bad gateway and all these things so at controller level you can actually associate these uh, exception filters middlewares can be applied at the, the module level so this is all for this video and uh, we can actually write a lot of things at the controller level like use interceptors use middlewares and all these things let me just try what all annotations we have with the use it will come up okay use pi use interceptor use filter use container so we should target about use guards you can create a custom guard and use add it use pipes use interceptors like we have created an exception uh, interceptor right use filters so exception filter we have created that that is the, the best place to put it here use filter and pass the module name similarly use pipe the definition we are already using this is the existing validation pipe that is doing our dto validations so use filters use interceptors all these things can be added at the controller level or at the module level okay uh, thanks everyone